you guys. Welcome back to another mukbang. We are eating Wingstop today. Did you guys know that they have this special going on? It's like the... Let me figure out what the name of it is. There's this thing. It's like $16.99 for 20 boneless pieces and a large fry and two sides of like dips. No drink. But $16.99 is a steal for Wingstop. Because if you have ordered Wingstop, you know it can, it can, the price gets hefty. So I have the fries here. I was originally going to do like a super big Wingstop mukbang with my brother, but he is not feeling well. So I am doing it alone today. And then whatever is left over, he'll probably end up munching on. So I'm parked at a library right now. And it is summertime. This is probably going to be my last mukbang in the car for a little bit because it is way too hot to film in a car. I also brought water. I also brought water, of course, just in case. So usually when I go to Wingstop, I usually get lemon pepper and that's about it the most i'll get from there is so this is what i usually get i usually always get lemon pepper if i'm feeling saucy i'll get mango habanero if i'm feeling saucier again i'll get like original hot from then on i will not get anything else louisiana rub is okay too because that's a dry seasoning but other than that, I don't get anything. It's usually lemon pepper and mango habanero at most. So today I thought I would venture out because you can get 20 boneless pieces and you can choose four different flavors. So that's what your girl did. So what I did is one side I have, can you guys see that? One side is lemon pepper. One side is original hot. Then this side is mango habanero. And then this, oh, this side is that hot honey rub or something, that new one that's limited edition or limited edition, limited time, whatever. I have seen everybody post about it and I'm just so curious as to what it could possibly taste like. So I got it. Oh my gosh, I didn't get a fork. Oh wait, it's okay because my fat ass has forks in the car. I'm very excited to try this hot honey rub, so I should probably try it without the ranch, right? Hmm. Hmm. I don't really get what the hype is. It's kind of mediocre. Wingstop's um, honey mustard is also really good, but I am a big fan of the ranch. Okay, let's have a mango habanero. I genuinely don't like biting my food. Like, I believe that this is a whole bite. You should not bite this. So that's what I'm going to do. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, the mango habanero is so good. I'm sorry if you guys can hear noise. I'm under solar panels. Oopsies. So you might be able to hear that. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to do a original hot. It's weird because original hot 
makes me think of York, Pennsylvania. And you guys are probably like, what the hell? So Kim is from York, Pennsylvania. That's her hometown. That's where she grew up before she moved here. And Kim is my best friend. She actually took me to York back in like 2000. I think 16 was the first time I went. 2017? 2016. I don't remember. But there's this place called Sheets. You guys probably know. You guys probably have heard of it. Sheets or I know there's a Wawa's or something like that. Anyways, we don't have that in California. So she took me to Sheets and you can order food and it's a gas station. And I always used to get their buffalo chicken, like popcorn chicken or something like that. So I don't know why out of all things I've eaten in my life, that's what I think of when I eat it. Who knows? Lemon pepper. Mmm. I definitely know I'm not going to finish everything. I think I'm going to save most of the original hot because my brother really likes it. But we'll see how it goes. Their fries are so good. The mango habanero today is amazing. Mm. You don't really need the ranch, but I like the ranch. I woke up so hungry and acidy today because I had alcohol yesterday, which I don't. And I can't drink alcohol anymore. I used to drink a lot. A lot, a lot. Like, a lot. Now I can't. I can't keep up. It's just not in me anymore. Did you guys ever feel that way? I used to drink... Maybe I just killed my liver. The only way I can keep up is if I really prep myself. Like, eating... Ah! There's a fly in here. The only way that I can drink now... If I prep really well, like drink lots of water, eat before, like, and it used to be the opposite way. I used to be like, oh, I'm not going to eat because I want the alcohol to hit harder. Did you guys ever feel that way? I used to be a freaking boss when it came to drinking, okay? That's all I got to say. And now I'm a loser. Lemon pepper is my favorite. Also, let me know if you guys like their fries. I feel like it's a hit or miss sometimes. Should we get into the questionnaires? Okay. Tell me when to stop. What do you think the most romantic proposal looks like? I think I'm going to say it for me since I'm the one who will be dictating what is romantic to me. So my romantic proposal would be, I mean, I want to get engaged somewhere that has Italy vibes. Um, if I can't get married there because it's so damn expensive, I might as well get engaged you know so that way we also have great photo ops so that's one thing I think a dream for me would be like if I ended up with someone and they got along with Kim and Carlos or any one of my other friends and we went on like a couple's 
like a double date vacation and he proposed there and then we like got to celebrate all together. I think that would be really fun. And it's kind of like we're already on vacation so we get to really enjoy being engaged together before we have to go home and like go to work. I don't know. I think that would be like the most romantic. You guys, I don't know how I feel about this hot honey. I really don't. It's also a lot like drier than I've seen it on like TikTok. I can taste the honey. It's just so. Mm. I can't tell. It's just so subtle. Like, is it supposed to be that subtle? I love these sizes. It's like the most perfect one bite size. Do you guys like eating your wings? I know bone in you have to eat with your hands, but do you like eating your boneless with your hands or a fork? Mm. So I'm actually sitting at the library because I know they have these shoulder panels. And the reason why is because last time, somewhere when it was getting really warm, I parked outside in the sun and my camera completely shut off because it was too hot. So I'm sitting in the library parking lot and there's so many people going to the library and it makes me so happy because nobody goes to the library, I feel like. If you could read minds, who would you read first? My mom. And then my dad. And then my brother. In that order. Maybe my mom, my brother, and then my dad. My brother and my dad are kind of meh, but definitely my mom. This is an interesting question. It says, do you think Barbie is a negative role model for young girls? I want to say yes and no. But see, I, growing up, knew that I was not Barbie. I don't know if it was that I subconsciously knew that I was Asian and Barbie was not. I guess, like, I always thought, like, Barbie was just an individual. Like, I was like, you are Barbie and I am me. Like, I never really compared myself to Barbie growing up. <clears throat> There's this woman who's parked across the street and she's staring at me and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit, you guys. But yeah, I never, I never really, no, mm, I can understand why it's a negative role model because Barbie is like this perfect, his, picturesque, like long legs, skinny waist, perfect perky boobs and like has the pretty hair and the makeup and all of that. I just never, it was just never that deep for me, I guess. Like, I was more busy thinking of a storyline as to how Barbie met Ken and got married. And she had a little sister, right? I think her little sister's name was, like, Kelly or something. I'm having a staring contest with the lady across from me. It's a little weird. I'm going to save the uh, hot honey. I have like three more pieces left of that. I'm going to give it to my brother and see what he thinks. I'm going to ask him if he can tell because I can't tell. Like, yes, I can tell what the sweetness is a little bit. Like, I can taste the sweetness of it, but not to the point where I would call it hot honey. I'm a little bit disappointed. But I am going to finish up my lemon pepper. Let me know in the comments if you're doing anything fun for summer. I am not. 
but I want to know if you are. Oh my god, this question said, have you ever practiced origami? And I read it as or orgasm. Do you believe in aliens? I don't believe the aliens look like the aliens that we think are aliens. But I do feel like there is... There has to be another living being out there. Like, it's impossible that we are the only ones that live on this earth... And there's so many other planets and so many other galaxies that we have not explored. You're telling me there's not another living soul over there? Like, that's... I, there has to be. Okay, why is this even a question? How do you feel about redheads? What's wrong with redheads? Why is there such a stigma around, like, redheads? Like, what? what is the problem with it? I don't understand. Are you guys like a dunker with your ranch? I'm just like a slight dipper. But I've seen people go ham with their ranch. What profession do you respect? Teachers. Um, especially, not that I'm saying, like, high school teachers or middle school teachers can't be as, like, motivational and inspirational. I just think preschool teachers and kindergarten teachers and elementary school teachers, I give them my all. It's also probably because I wanted to be a teacher. So I've seen the field, been in the field, worked with kids and it's a lot. And to be a part of a human being's life at such a young age and have the privilege of guiding them through life, which is already insane. Like actually, you know what, while I'm talking about this, I'm going to change my answer. I think it's all teachers. I'm not saying one is better than the other, just in general, like to be a part of a kid's life for that long, because it's a, it's a big chunk of the day. Um, you have to be the good ones, by the way, there are some horrible teachers out there and I don't know why they choose to teach. Cause I'm like, what is your point? Like, if you don't love your job, if you don't love the kids, why do you do it? But anyways, they deserve all the respect in the world. Obviously there are other occupations out there that also are amazing like nurses doctors firefighters emts just all of that but like teachers i feel like they don't get enough thanks you guys want nannies and send your kids outside to play and you don't want to deal with your own kids because i get it kids are a lot not to say that you don't love them but it's like imagine these teachers are teaching your children to be a part of this world to be a part of this society like it's a big freaking deal Okay, my last... Okay, this one's an awkward shape, so I'm going to bite it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. You guys, I was debating between Windshop and Taco Bell. And I'm so glad I went on Queen Shop. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the little questionnaires of getting to know me, but that food was amazing, you guys. It was delicious. Next time for our mukbangs, we will be back inside. My mom will most likely want to cook for me, so if you guys want to see anything Korean-related for the next mukbang, let me know. It doesn't always have to be Korean. It can be anything. I can do a pasta mukbang. I can do more chicken. I can do pizza. I've never done pizza because I'm not a big fan of pizza, but if my brother does it with me, I might consider... 
But just let me know down in the comments. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.